Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we have a very special video. We are going to be upgrading the hardware on our Fender USA Tony Franklin signature. Let's do this. This is my Fender USA Tony Franklin signature. I love this bass. This is a stellar instrument and an awesome fretless has all the moi in the world and just so many different tones with the PJ setup. We have a DiMarzio J pickup and then a Fender P pickup here. However, today we're not gonna be talking about the great tones of this bass. Instead, we are gonna talk about the terrible balance of this instrument. One of its features is a detuner on the E string and that allows for additional versatility when you're playing and you wanna do some drop D playing or whatever. I am not a drop D player. I like to play five strings if I go that low. That's just for me personally, and I am not a fan of this D tuner and the weight that it adds. These stock tuners in general are also on the heavier side and have a large footprint. However, there are some drop-ins available by Goto, and that is what we're gonna install today, as well as a bridge. So these are the Goto GB640s, and these will be drop-ins for the Fender Tony Franklin. These are the Resolite series, so they should reduce the weight significantly. I'm going to take a weight on the stock tuner as well as the new tuners to see how much savings we're gonna have, and we will do a balance test. But for reference, here is the portion of the full length review on this bass where I talked about the balance and showed you on a strap and such. In the lap without a strap, we do have quite a bit of neck dive, and that's because of these big vintage style tuners, as well as the hip shot D tuner that adds a lot of weight. On the lap with a strap, we do still get quite a bit of neck dive. It is pulling towards the ground. Standing up, we still get neck dive. Yeah, the balance is pretty rough. And if you want to see my full length review on the Fender USA Tony Franklin signature, check that video out linked in the description below. The other piece of hardware we're going to be installing is this Godo bridge. This is the Godo 404B04 and it is constructed entirely of body odor. No, just kidding. Uh, this is a really nice high quality bridge with brass saddles that are plated. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to install this in place of the stock bridge here. I'm not a fan of this style of bridge with the ridge saddles. I know it's like, you know, a vintage style bridge and this is a vintage style instrument, but I think these Godo instruments will be nice quality of life upgrades. Now keep in mind, these are completely drop-in replacements, will not require any drilling, though the bridge has two additional holes that you could drill out if you wanted to. For the purposes of this test, I'm not gonna do that, and my drill needs to charge as well, so. <laughs> so I'm not going to install them on camera because I want to do it on my couch and watch some TV. But we will come back after the hardware is installed and do a balance test before and after to see if the Goto hardware improved the balance at all for the Fender USA Tony Franklin. Let's get to it. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Okay, bye. And we are back. We have successfully installed the Goto GB640 tuners on our headstock here. The one note is that only two of the screw holes line up and those are the two screw holes that are closest to me. The ones facing this side, it would be my right. Uh, the other ones do not line up. I'm tempted to drill them out and I think I will, but I'll do that off camera afterwards. The bridge installed no problem. There are two additional holes that you can drill out. I did not do that for this. There are five inline holes for a fender screw pattern though and everything set up perfectly. I've since set the base up and intonated it and I am very happy with the final result. First, let's check out the balance. Uh, uh. Yes, the neck dive is reduced greatly in the lap. Now let's see with a strap. 
With the strap, we have absolutely no neck dive whatsoever. Same goes for standing up. Now, one other nice thing about this upgrade is the weight savings. We saved about one half pound from our headstock. So let's see what this base weighs in at now. Beforehand, it was at, I believe, 9.2 pounds. Let's see. We are down to 8.8 .8 pounds. We've saved almost a half a pound. Very nice. Now, just for fun, let's just plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this bass. I love it a lot. <laughs> oh, I could just play this all day. But anyways, I think our hardware upgrade on our Fender USA Tony Franklin Signature Bass was a great success. Our balance has improved dramatically, and I like the improvements with this new bridge that allows for more stable saddles and quick-release strings, meaning I can switch out the strings without having to go through a little hole or whatever. So, yay! Yay, upgrades. Let me know what you think about these upgrades down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about our upgraded Fender USA Tony Franklin signature, now featuring Godo hardware with tuners and a bridge. And as always, until we groove again.